Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add audio waveforms to your text using After Effects. Here's a quick example. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and first of all I'm just going to drag in my audio file. So I'm just going to go to my finder, find my audio file which is a normal mp3 file. Drag and drop that into After Effects and then I'm going to drag that into a new composition. Okay, next we're going to create our text. So I'm just going to right click new and text and uh, let's just type something really simple. Audio and um, obviously you can select your font and all of those things. I'm just going to leave it Arial Black. Um, you can obviously change the size to just create something really nice. Uh, let's just set this quality to full so we can see what we're working with. And um, next we want to convert this font or this text to masks. So to do that just right click on that layer and then go to create masks from text. And that's basically going to create a new layer. You can actually go ahead and delete your original text uh, layer. And on this new layer that it created, it actually created all these masks for the different uh, sections of your text. Okay. And um, you can minimize that for now. And next we're going to create our audio waveform. So I'm going to right click new and I'm going to select solid. And then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, waveform and then click on OK. Okay, next we want to add our waveform effect to that solid. So I'm going to go to my uh, effects and presets and I'm just going to type audio, audio, and I'm going to drag the audio waveform onto that layer. Okay, so now we've got that uh, audio waveform there. If we play through this, don't see anything happening there. For now, I'm just going to mute my audio um, just while we're busy like checking this out. And um, so basically we need to tell this audio waveform to look at a specific audio file. So if we go into that effect, you'll see audio layer and currently it's set to waveform and we want to change that to our MP3 file or our wave file or whatever. So I'm just going to select this plain truth.mp3. Uh, let me just unmute that audio quickly. Let's play it back. Okay, so now you can see we've got this very basic uh, audio waveform going across the screen. And um, that's not really what we want. We want to apply this to our text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this audio outline, go to masks, and I'm going to select all these different masks. So just hold in shift, click on the last one, and then I'm going to copy those. So I'm just going to uh, press command C and then go to my waveform layer and I'm going to paste those, um, those masks. Now I can go ahead and delete this audio outlines. We're not going to use that. And now if we expand our waveform uh, layer, you'll see under masks that we have all these different masks for our text. Okay, cool. So now under waveform, uh, where it says path, I'm going to select my first mask, which is the, the inside. I think it's the inside of the A, or it's actually the outside. So there you can see our waveform is now um, going to go over the outline of that mask. So if we play this back quickly. Okay, so you can see that is actually working. But if we look at this waveform, you can see it's being cut off here on the sides and also at the top. So to fix that, I'm going to expand my waveform again, expand my masks, and um, then I'm going to select all these masks, expand them. And then where it says mask expansion, I'm just going to drag this up to around, um, around 100 should be fine. Let's just minimize that again. And now you can see it's not being cut off if I play this back. Okay, so that's looking cool. And um, next, before we start working on the other letters or on the other masks, we want to make sure that our uh, waveform is looking nice. You can always go in and change it afterwards, but it's always easier to fix it on the first mask and then just duplicate it. So first of all, let's do the color. So inside color, I'm just going to select, uh, let's do like a green and outside color, also like a, maybe a bit of a darker green. And yeah, you can also go and change the thickness of the waveform. I'm going to keep it nice and uh, maybe something like that you can also change the softness um, of that uh, waveform if you want to change the height that's the maximum height of that uh, waveform so if you're happy with that then we're going to start adding all these other masks um, or applying that effect to all the other masks so basically to do that you just duplicate your waveform layer so i'm going to click on my waveform layer command d to duplicate it and then on that new layer, just change the path to the next mask. So in this case, it's A2, and you'll see that um, waveform will now be on the inside as well. I'm going to click on that waveform layer again. We're going to duplicate it once more, select the next mask, which is U, and I'm going to click on that layer again, duplicate it, 
do the same thing and I think you get the picture so I'm just going to duplicate all of these and just select the next mask in the list like so okay let's just play that back quickly okay so that's looking pretty cool now if you want to go ahead and add some more effects to this uh, layer stack what I usually do is I just right click go to new and create an adjustment layer put that right in the top and now you can go ahead and you can right click on this one go to effect let's say we want to add a glow effect so I'm going to go to stylize click on glow it's going to add a bit of a glow to it maybe we want to add a bit of a blur to it as well uh, maybe let's add a maybe like a directional blur and um, let's just see uh, maybe something to the side maybe not that much so as you can see it's easier to add the effect right at the top on an adjustment layer um, and not try and add that effect to every single waveform layer because that's just going to uh, slow things down and it's also just time consuming adding these effects to all these different layers so just add it once to your adjustment layer and uh, let's have a look at that quickly And that's how easy it is to add audio waveforms to your text in After Effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.